Time travel is a double-edged sword that could be the key to the future of the Terminator franchise or its downfall. However, rumor has it, Terminator Dark Fate could be the stepping stone the franchise will go to, with that movie having the most suitable timeline that could reintroduce the original cast, with us having the honor to hear Arnold say his line at least one more time in the upcoming movie. I'll be back with its T-800's return. Trying to determine whether a Terminator Dark Fate sequel will happen seems like a futile thing to dwell on, not only because of the latest Terminator movies not living up to the expectations, but also because of the fact that we're completely in the dark as to which timeline the upcoming Terminator movie might adapt as everything seems to be tangled up neatly like a spider web. And if you're wondering where the franchise as a whole stands, the short answer would be that there's that little voice in everyone's head that another sequel is surely coming. However, what that movie could potentially look like, we have absolutely no idea, especially if the upcoming sequel decides to follow the story of Terminator Dark Fate, the latest installment of the franchise, which seems to be the case right now, which is why we're going to go with that and base our findings on just that and to be honest. In all the mess and chaos that the franchise has found itself in, the Dark Fate movie could prove to be the most successful stepping stone for any upcoming Terminator movies, as the story of the latest movie was a deal one meaning that the movie suitably brought together the events of the first two movies that have been left to hang after the departure of James Cameron from the franchise back in the day. And secondly, the movie paved the way for the whole franchise to be able to go back to its roots and reintroduce potential new trilogy that will go in the right direction. And for it not to be yet another messed up timeline like what Rise of the Machines, Salvation and Genesis turned out to be. And with all of this in mind, we can clearly see that despite not meeting the expectations at the box office, Terminator Dark Fate, in its core, managed to capture the essence and serve as both a direct sequel to the first two Terminator movies, as well as some sort of a reboot for the entire franchise, leaving quite a few doors open as to where the franchise could go in the near future. And before we move forward with this video, everything in order to not confuse you even more than you are right now, we'll try to explain the timeline we've been talking about the one in which the Terminator Dark Fate movie takes place, and then see where the potential upcoming movie might go from there, as well as the setup the latest movie in the franchise managed to give the fans to make some sort of a connection to any future installments to come. The whole concept of time travel is an interesting thing, no matter the setting, however, it's a double-edged sword. It can be a game-changer that will make an entire franchise go wherever it pleases when the events are taken into consideration, as well as lead to a number of different timelines across a franchise with the latter being the case for the Terminator franchise and it not being able to get a hold of things and where to pick up from in order to continue. The first two movies of the franchise introduced us to the main players, Sarah Connor, Skynet, Kyle Reese, the T-800 and John Connor, in a way. The T-800 portrayed by Arnold gets sent back in the past by Skynet to kill Sarah before she gives birth to John, with the resistance that follows never even happening, thus ensuring Skynet succeeds in their invasion of Earth. The sequel, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, picks up 11 years after the events of the first movie and we see Sarah in a mental institution and John Connor with his foster parents when another Terminator, made out of liquid, T-1000 comes to kill him, with future John also sending someone to protect himself, the reprogrammed T-800. The movie ends with an uncertain future, the apocalypse seemingly averted but making a change from the first movie's more closed ending, leaving the doors open for any sequels and many years later, Terminator Dark Fate arrives with James Cameron coming back as a producer and throwing every Terminator movie aside from the first two movies out of the window. A movie that reunites the original cast members, Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor and Arnold Schwarzenegger as the T-800 with the two paying homage to the first two installments and a new hybrid cyborg woman getting introduced to protect the people from the Terminators, of course. The latest iteration of the franchise seem determined to the element that made the original installments so great and it seems like, no offense to the other sequels of the franchise, the only future worth remembering, with the timeline of the latest movie being the one to be adapted for the upcoming 7th Terminator movie. The door for an infinite number of sequels is wide open because of time travel, however, Terminator Dark Fate explicitly lays the groundwork for a direct follow-up, which also indicates the fact that we could be getting the original cast members that started everything which is always a good sight to see. 
The ending of the movie involved Danny Ramos and Sarah Connor overlooking a playground where a young Grace is enjoying the afternoon with her family, with the two knowing the future in which Grace gets help from Danny to evolve into the soldier she is destined to be when the machines rise up and Legion aka Skynet enacts its genocide on humanity. Danny and Sarah drive away knowing full well that when Judgment Day comes, Grace will be the key to their success against the machines, a clear setup for a sequel. James Cameron also shared his take on the future of the franchise, who said that not only two, but there is enough story to be told for three more movies, with the commercial side of things being one of the main reasons that will determine just how many sequels we might get in the future. As for the role of T-800 by the end of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, he was dead, or whatever the Terminator equivalent of that might be. But if there is one thing we've learned from all the previous installments of the franchise is that T-800 will always be back. Another thing that James Cameron touched upon is the fact of Sarah becoming the most important character of the franchise with her being the one to pass the torch to the new characters that would come in. The new characters include the likes of Natalia Reyes and Mackenzie Davis, with the upcoming Terminator movie having the possibility to include Gabriel Luna's Rev-9 as well. With him being an actor that received a lot of positive critics for his portrayal of his character, which should be an interesting thing to see especially since T-800's return is imminent. And before we end our video, we should mention that nothing has been confirmed along the lines of a Terminator movie coming, with the facts pointing towards that direction, an announcement we should be expecting soon, which also brings us to the topic of when the movie might even release. Well, it's quite a difficult thing to predict, to be honest, both given its unclear development and in which state the script even finds itself as we speak. Some rumors suggest that some drafts have been prepared, and if that's the case once the project gets confirmed, it should not be long before the whole filming process begins, which is why we're going to leave the door open for now and leave you with our educated guess of suggesting that it'll be more than two or three years before the movie releases, that is if the project gets the green light by the end of 2022. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the Terminator franchise as a whole, and if it was up to you, what would you like to see in the next Terminator movie? and seventh installment of the franchise, but also do you think that the Dark Fate timeline is the right one for the future success of the franchise and why? And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.